The Los Santos Drug Wars DLC has just come out in GTA Online. As you can see right here, I am in an empty garage and I have over $25 million in GTA Online. So today in this video, I'm going to be buying all the new vehicles in the Drug Wars DLC and I'm just going to go on a spending spree for everything about this DLC. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right, so first things first, and you just need to buy the stock version of all these vehicles. All right, so I just bought all the stock versions of all the new vehicles that came out in this dlc that only really ate about eight million dollars out of my pocket which is not bad at all they only came out with really five new vehicles i'm gonna put a disclaimer in i'm not gonna customize the brickade 6x6 or the manchester scout c because i'll save that for a later video but these are all the vehicles that were on legendary motorsports and southern san andreas all right so we purchased all the cars right here and i'm gonna show you exactly what cars these are and then we're going to customize them all right so right here we have the bf surfer custom right here we have the journey 2 right here we have the declassy tulip m100 right here we have the anis 300r and this last vehicle right here is the overflawed entity mt all right so i'm going to go and customize the entity mt first all right so i'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is probably so far the fastest vehicle in this dlc just because we're gonna customize this thing at how special works i don't know the journey 2 might actually push it a little bit maybe make it a little bit of a competition but at the end of the day i still think this vehicle is the fastest one in this dlc all right so we made it to how special works right here so now the hsw upgrade is going to be eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So we still have 17 million dollars in the bank this isn't going to hurt my bank account too much because i'm not a bro like you so now let's just customize this thing i just want to be a real jackass with this customization i want this pure gold i'm gonna have gold on gold i don't even know where the secondary color is for this car right now but i don't care it's just gonna be gold all right so i just finished customizing this entity the lighting is terrible out here right now i kind of just want to show you all exactly what this lighting's all about but i'm test driving it right now i'm trying to head back to my garage and this thing feels is very very nice very very smooth it feels incredibly quick as it should all right so there we go that was me driving the entity xf right here this is what it looks like i mean this car looks absolutely slick i mean this might now be the fastest supercar in the game i just started thinking about it i mean if you want to enable like how special works in races this is probably what you're gonna have to use now in order to beat the competition this thing is incredibly fast all right so now i'm in the anis 300r let's go customize this thing this is a sports car the thing with this vehicle is that you can put imani tech on this vehicle so i am driving to my agency right here in order to customize this so here i am at my agency let's go put some imani tech on it all right so here we are at the workshop first let's do a respray of it so i went with the chameleon look for this one i feel like this color scheme kind of goes with the vibe of this entire dlc so here's imani tech so i can make this an rc vehicle but i already have plenty of those i'm gonna put the missile lock on jam so no sweaty idiots are gonna kill me on their broomsticks so there we go put a money tech and let me finish just customizing the rest of this all right so i finished customizing my anus 300 r and this is what it looks like so i put the armor plating on so i can take at least multiple shots from explosives the entity mt was more of like the really fast car this is more of like the practical but still pretty fast car of this dlc this is a more practical car if you're trying to do missions and whatnot and like some griefers coming after you this is this is a lot more practical no broomstick idiot's gonna go after you in this one if you put a money tech on it oh my god what a terrible wreck all right so we have the tulip m100 right here this is the muscle car of this dlc so let's just go customize it all right so we made it to los santos customs now let's see what we can do with this vehicle let's take a look at the libraries i might want to do a library here oh my god we can make this a rust bucket you know what screw it let's go for this rust bucket look i don't i don't know 
Oh, dear lord. Oh, my gosh. I already have some complaints about this car. This car sucks at handling. I'm not gonna lie. This car cannot handle with the crap. You would think the house special works vehicle would be the hardest one to handle. No, that one, that one handles a lot better than this piece of crap. I mean, in the end, this is what I came out with. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think this looks kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. This, this is not a great vehicle to drive around. This does not handle that well, but it kind of looks funny. Hey, I, I like the rust bucket look with the engine just coming out the hood. It's kind of a funny looking vehicle. It kind of fits in with this DLC, honestly. All right, so here is the Journey 2 right here. Possibly the fastest car in this DLC. So now let's just go and customize this thing. I mean, oh my gosh, I can just already tell. This vehicle has so much speed. This, this vehicle is blazing quick right now. Obviously, if you can't take a joke, this is not a quick vehicle at all. But I don't think this vehicle is meant to be quick. This vehicle is just meant to look stupid. Kind of like the last vehicle, except it kind of looked like it'd be just kind of meh. I mean, this is not supposed to be fast at all. I don't know. Let's see what customization I can do with this vehicle. All right, so I think the big thing with this vehicle is going to be the liveries. What liveries do we get? Oh, yeah yeah uh-huh yeah this is it this is it give me tie-dye right away i don't even need to put any other colors on it let's just let me just finish customizing this thing all right and here we go this is the journey too i mean good lord this vehicle just looks ridiculous ridiculous i i think we're using this vehicle in a mission as a part of the first dose missions but aside from that i don't know what else this vehicle is going to have in store for us all right so this is what i came back with with the journey too i mean customizing the livery is pretty much the highlight of this vehicle aside from the livery and the, just the very interesting libraries that you can put on this vehicle there's not that much customization with this vehicle i'm kind of disappointed in that honestly i would have thought that they would have at least had a a little bit more customization to put on this all right so here's our last car right here the bs surfer custom now i think this is gonna be kind of similar to the journey too well let's just see what customization i can do with this hopefully there's a little more okay not that i was expecting this car to be incredibly fast this car is oh so slow honestly the journey two might have a shot of beating this like in a race like this is pretty freaking slow but i don't know maybe maybe we can put some cool customization on it to make it a little bit faster all right so we gotta look at the library okay so i can already tell there's a little bit more customization to this oh my gosh oh my gosh there's so much good stuff with this oh my goodness oh i can't look at the piece and oh no i feel like this might be the best one. Oh my god that sucks i can't even find it online right now i'm sure once i post this video there's someone's gonna have it i'm actually going to do this one i i really like this i i'm digging that one a lot you know actually i changed my mind i want to go to the mothership see with this livery i have to change like the top color which right now is black and there's nothing that really goes well with this so for that reason i am gonna go with the mothership which is still a great livery all right now this vehicle is much much better than the journey to i mean there has been so much customization with this this vehicle this is what the journey to should have been this vehicle is great <laughs> I mean, look how stupid this looks. And this is the point of this vehicle. This point of this vehicle is not for you to go fast. The point of this vehicle is to just absolutely look ridiculous as you drive down the road. And oh my gosh, look at this. I look so stupid. It doesn't handle very well, as you can see right there. But still, this looks great. All right, so here's the Surfer Custom now. Here's the official look at it. And oh my gosh, this looks this looks amazing. The chameleon paint job on it to go behind this incredible livery and look 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 right here look right here i have a skull on the hood look at this this is gonna be your head after i run you over in the streets and then after i run your head over and mount it on the hood of my car i can just go surfing and not just buy myself up another surfboard for my best friend i have a surfboard for my subscribers look at this this vehicle is amazing this this vehicle is amazing this is what the journey 
two should have been. I mean, look at this. There's nothing else I could have done with this vehicle. It is livery, and that's it. What a great vehicle. What a great way to end off my spending spree. All right, so here's my garage now after after buying all the vehicles in this DLC. I still have 13 and a half million for future updates for this DLC. And for the Brickade 6x6, well, that was me spending $25 million in the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC in GTA Online.